Well, let's give a congratulations to the Raiders because they managed to go past the 50-yard line and score points. Congratulations. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like giving them one of those fucking um, participation awards or that those fucking awards that don't mean shit when you get in elementary school. Like, oh, you got a star because you behaved today. That's what we should give the Raiders because they scored. Yay. But you still lost the game. Congrats. Where where do I even begin? I don't even think I could get more mad. I don't know why I keep getting mad. I, sh I know I probably shouldn't. I should follow Mary Jane's advice from Spider-Man. You know, expect disappointment and you won't be disappointed. I should fucking follow that advice. But no, every fucking week I fall for, oh, maybe we can win. Oh, maybe. You know, gee, you know, when most other teams in the NFL, when they have a lead, you think, oh, yeah, we have this game. Not in the fucking Raiders case. No, uh, uh. You have to grate with your fucking teeth and fucking have a heart attack near the end of the game. That's how it's like being a fucking Raiders fan. But I find myself pissed again. Where the hell do I freaking begin? All right, first off, first the, the first half was good from both sides of the ball. The first half was good from both sides of the ball. Devontae Adams was getting the ball. I think Josh Jacobs should have gotten the ball a little bit more. But Devontae Adams still got two touchdowns, and we didn't look like complete shit. Then, I don't know if we fucking went to the locker room, and I don't know what the fuck, like, <laughs> They're all dehydrated from fucking humidity or what the deal was, but we come in the second half playing like shit. Both sides of the ball playing like shit. The defense, this fucking Dixie cup stacked. You remember those stacked cups that you know a lot of you know a lot of you know like '90s kids and you know other kids. I think I don't know if they're around in the '80s or not, but like those stacked cups that we all wanted, or I wanted them anyway. I don't give a shit. Shut up. <laughs> we weren't spoiled with fucking you know apps and shit like kids now are we were excited about fucking cups you know those stack cups our defense is literally a stack cup team of fucking dixie cups that's what the fuck our defense is we let fucking trevor lawrence aka rapunzel with his fucking gold glowing locks as he tosses the ball just flows in the wind he looks like he's fucking doing a pantene commercial and we let him fucking shred us and look like an amazing fucking quarterback we met we let fucking in team et e phone home whatever the fuck the running back's name we we let him just fucking run all over our throats and score two touchdowns on us there was even like a couple plays we left a wide ass open gate for him just like oh excuse me sir go ahead yeah go ahead score a touchdown we're fucked anyway so just score a touchdown it's just like what the fuck is with this defense man and I, I don't know what the hell to do about it. Do we fire Patrick Graham? Do we need more pieces? Like, what what the fuck do we... It's, like, always something, man. Like, I feel... It's so weird because, like, I try not to be, like, negative, but I just can't help it, man, being the fucking Raiders fan because, like, it's the same shit every fucking year. Doesn't matter who, what regime you have. Doesn't matter what coach you get. Doesn't matter what certain player you get. It all ends the fucking same every year. I feel like fucking Stanley Yelnats from Holes. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Madame Zeroni fucking cursed us, man. That's what I feel like. Like, we cannot fucking, like, it, it's just unbelievable. This is unbelievable, man. And I think it just, it hurts more this season because we had such fucking high expectations. And I don't know, man. It just fucking, I don't understand it. So, yeah, so the defense plays like shit. They let the fucking... Jags, the kitty cats, Jags come back. I can't even make fun of them. They fucking beat us. They met. We they made the Jags beat us with fucking Rapunzel at the quarterback. You know he he threw it. You know, throwing dimes he left and right here, and and then you know they come up and they catch up to us right. Now, next is the offense. Okay, next is the offense. You're gonna get your verbal spanking next. You didn't score for the second half. So you're like, oh, well, we did better. We scored in the first half. No, motherfucker. You are paid to play four fucking quarters, 15 fucking minutes each, 60 minutes. You are paid to play 60 fucking minutes of football, not 30. And if you're going to play 30 minutes, you should take half of what you get paid. So now, I mean, Josh Jacobs was doing good, but of course, we don't give him the ball because now... 
Derek Carr because he's so he acts. That's the thing I don't understand about Derek Carr. He acts like he's like, oh, you know, I'm I'm real tough. You know, I don't care what no one says, and oh, I want I want respect and blah blah blah, motherfucker. And then like he literally just does he does like the hyper. I don't know what the, what what do I say? Like he goes to the other extreme. He went from not targeting Devontae Adams at all to like, oh, I'm just gonna target Devontae Adams the whole fucking game, dude. You got two of the receivers there, man. And that's the big problem with him. He does not go through his fucking reads because he fucking panics. If he he's like, okay, the play says this person, so if if I when I say hike, I gotta immediately throw this receiver no matter what, whether they're double or chip recovered or their fucking back is turned. They haven't even made the route yet because you can't wait because you're such a scared little fucking. Oh my gosh, dude! There were like at least four or five times where he was throwing to Devontae Adams, and Devontae Adams wasn't even in position yet because he had to get his little happy feet dancing. Oh, I gotta get rid of it. Oh, I gotta get rid of it. You've been in the league for fucking almost 10 years, dude, and you still act like such a scared little bitch when you're in, like, dude, I'm so fucking sick of it. Okay. So now he hyper-focuses on Devontae Adams. I don't even think, well, no, Renfro got a couple throws. I don't even think Matt Collins got anything. And, of course, Darren Waller's sitting on his fucking sideline listening to his fucking headphones, not giving a flying fuck. I'm mad at that motherfucker, too. He hasn't even... I don't even think he's scored a touchdown this whole fucking season. But, anyway... So... So, okay. So, the offense plays like shit for the entire second half. They were barely on the field in the third quarter. And... The defense actually does get a couple key stops. They get two or three key stops in the second half of the game. These two or three stops give Carr at least three drives to try to get us a touchdown to either get us a lead or to tie the game. And he couldn't do it. He failed. He failed. So I don't want to hear any shit. I don't want to hear, he didn't have enough time. He needs A, B, C, X, Y, and C. He needs a num- uh, 99 overall lineman. He needs uh, the 1980s Bears defense. He needs uh, fucking Jerry Rice. He needs this. He needs that. Most teams in the NFL, you're not going to have stars in every single fucking position. Okay. We even brought a fucking star to this team, and he still can't do it. So Carr, he he had good years with the Raiders. He's done a lot of good things for us, right? But that time is over. You're done. You hear me? (laughs) Like he can hear me. You're done. You're not as the in that fucking meme video. You're not the guy. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. It's time for us to move on. You literally had three chances. Three chances to either get us the win or tie the game, and you couldn't do it. And you have the fucking audacity to think that you deserve fucking, what, 20 or 30 million a year? No, you don't. I hate I hate Tom Brady. I hate his fucking guts. I want to punch him in the fucking face. But at least when he was with New England, he at least took pay cuts. This motherfucker still thinks he's owed 30, 20 to $30 million a year. You're not. You haven't won a playoff game. You can't win when it fucking matters. You're not, dude. I don't want to hear it no more. I don't want to hear it from these fucking car care bears, car tards. I don't want to hear it. He's not the guy. It sucks, but we got to move on. So now the question is, what do we do? What do we do? Well, the season's already fucked, so we might as well just let him finish it. I mean, I did him. I really don't think he's going to do much better. Oh... I mean, you have no other options, so you have to finish the season with him. And we need to cut him. Seriously. I guess, I guess from what I've heard, I guess in, in this contract, that if we cut him, I think after the Super Bowl, like a few days after the Super Bowl, we won't have to pay him any of that money. Which, good. We need to cut him. And I want to see if he holds true to what he says of, oh, I want to retire Raider and I won't go to any other team. We'll see. We'll see if your sleazy agent doesn't get you another fucking gig trying to, I don't want to say rob, but take money from another team. But I'm just over it, dude. I don't, you're done. You are done. To be honest, I've been kind of over him for like the last two or three, oh, two years. Well, 
pretty much since 2019, I've kind of been over him. I kind of realized that he's not the guy, you know. But, you know, it's like, oh, because you got to, you know, because you have all these, you know, dummies on the Internet that, you know, they act like they know football better than everyone else. And I'm not claiming to know football better than anyone. I'm just a casual fucking watch. Not casual, but, like, I know some things, but I'm not like, oh, I'm, I know this stat. I know every single stat in the book. I'm like, no, dude, I work two jobs. I'm fucking busy as hell. I don't have time to sit there and fucking analyze every little thing about football, know every single position by heart. No, I'm just a guy who just watches on Sundays and I fucking post what I think. That's it, you know? I'm not claiming to say I'm better than no one, but you have some of these people who just act like they're fucking better than people like, oh, Cooks, I know these stats. Oh, I know these stats. I know them really well. Even though I didn't play a sport in my fucking life, I don't have a life, so I have to know all these stats to make myself feel important. But, but anyway, <laughs> I'm just ranting and raving about every fucking thing. I'm just, like, so fucking scatterbrained and mad, and I'm just, like, I don't know. I, I, I just... I don't know. And then, like, Josh McDaniels obviously is a dipshit. Oh, and then that, oh, the final play. Let me get into this. The final play, it's, what, fourth and 17. Carr just gets sacked after he threw it, he threw it at Devontae Adams' back. And, of course, he, you know, it's always funny because it seems like he's, he gets mad at the receivers for not getting there. It's like, dude, you're not letting the play develop. You're, like, throwing it, like. And I he had way more time this game than he did against the Saints. I don't want to hear shit about it, dude. Um... But anyway, it was it was fourth and seventeen. He holds on to the ball, can't find nobody, can't find a way. Oh, I'll just dish it off and dish it off to I think it was to Jacobs. Jacobs then throws it. They play literally hot potato with the fucking ball. And this is another one of this fucking stupid ass shit that probably McDaniel's like, oh yeah, this is real genius. Yeah, yeah, this is real great. No, dude, it's fucking stupid. It's fucking dumb. You're not like that's the problem, it's like he literally just overcomplicates it. He acts like because it's more complicated, it's better. Not necessarily, dude. And so he just, like, does stupid shit like this. And just, and I just hate, like, there's, like, a... There seems to be, like, an air of arrogance around him and around fucking Dave Ziegler. Dumb and dumber. Like, even Dave Ziegler, like, his press conference basically made it seem like it was more the player's fault. He was like, oh, well, it's execution. No, motherfucker. It's you trying to bring something here that, that doesn't fucking belong here. Okay. Like, oh, I hate how they, they just act like there's, them and even the NFL, they just act like they're so superior. Oh, the Patriot, like, even, I even talked about in the last video. The Patriot way, the Patriot way. Oh, they got six rings. Because of Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, you take those two out, they don't win shit. You know, and the cheating, and then they don't win shit. Like, I'm, even, even the fucking uh, janitors over at fucking Foxborough and the, the people who fed fucking peanuts to Tom Brady, even they have six rings, but that don't mean shit. You, you ain't better than nobody, motherfucker. I don't care who the fuck you think you are, Dave Ziegler. You look like a fucking rat from the mob, dude. You look like a fucking snitch. You look like they would take you out to the fucking lake and put cement shoes on you and push you in the lake. That's what you look like. But any, <laughs> anyway. Oh. So, I don't know, man. This season, I don't even fucking know. And then what? We got the Colts next. Can we beat the Colts? I don't know. We couldn't beat the Saints with fucking ro them rotating quarterbacks. We couldn't beat the, the Jaguars with Rapunzel. So, I don't see us beating the Colts either. We could, We might even lose to, the, to Russell Wilson. I could see that happening. Because especially away, we haven't even won a single away game this year. And it's like, how, how are we supposed to depend on a guy who can't even win? And or, 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 or I don't even see a guy. Cause then, and it's so funny because people always flip it. When we win, it's because of Derek Carr. But then if we lose, oh, it's a team game. It's a team game. Well, which is it, motherfuckers? Is it a team game or is he the reason? You know, it's, I just hate that. So I don't even know what the hell we do. Like, I guess just ride the rest of the season now. Or you could tank and get draft picks. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they're doing, man. And then Mark Davis comes out like, oh, you know, McDaniels is my guy, and I'm going to support him. Okay, yeah. You do that, you bull-cut asshole. <laughs> I mean, part of this is Mark's fault, too, man, because he, he hires these fucking people. Like, I don't know. I mean, I get it. You want to have some stability, but just, like, hire the right people from the jump. Don't hire some shitty-ass fucking failed coach just because he, he licked Bill Belichick's nuts. You know, like, who cares? He hasn't done shit. No one from the Bill Belichick tree has done shit on their own. So why did, why even, like, coming from that tree even matters? I don't know. but Because he won six rings, Apache. That's why. 
Well, no shit. Well, they won it because of Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and because they cheated a few times. <laughs> Not because of Josh McDaniels. Or Dave Ziegler. Oh, my gosh, dude. I don't know, man. What, what do you even do with this team? What do you even do with this team? I, and I don't want another rebuild. It's like I don't want another rebuild either because then it's like I don't I have no idea. But obviously some people are going to go. I mean, I've heard rumors that they're thinking about getting trading rid of trading Josh Jacobs, which I hope not. He's literally the only th consistent part of this offense. Uh, I mean, Darren Waller can go for all I give a fuck. Like, he he, see, he does not seem any rush to go back on the field. I mean, and I probably don't blame him. Like, would you want to play for this shitty team? I wouldn't. You know, but then again, he did get paid. So, it's like, it seems like he's just taking his money and running. So, which just sucks because, I mean, he's, he had such a good, good story of, you know, coming back from addiction and stuff. But I guess he's more focused on rapping than he is playing football, which sucks. I mean, he's... Because he could play good football if he wants to, but he, I guess he just doesn't want to this year. Apparently not. He does not seem in any rush to be, to play. Even, even fucking Devontae Adams played while he was sick, you know? Like, Josh Jacobs played while he was sick, but Darren Waller, he just, he does not want to play in like he, unless he's like absolutely 100%, which by this point, halfway through the season, no one's at 100%, you know? But I don't know, man. I really don't know him. I'm a little more calmed down now. I'm not as pissed, but I think going forward, I'm going to have the Mary Jane attitude. I'm going to, I'm going to listen to what she said and just take it to heart. Like if, if I expect disappointment in these games, I won't be disappointed when we fucking lose, when we get blown out or when we have a lead and we, we can't score in the second half. So I'll just go ahead and follow that logic. But some people are like, Oh, you're being too negative. Okay, dude. It's like at some point, you know, you just got to accept that, that we're fucking shit and that we're garbage. And all right, I'm going to just accept that. I'm just going to, you know, going forward, I'm just, I mean, I'll probably still react to the games, but I'm just going to take the games at, as what they were. I mean, in my opinion, this is the final nail in the coffin. I mean, I I said that at, when we were 0 and 3, or was it 0 and 3 or 0 and 4 that, that we're not going to the playoffs? Now, this is like the final nail in the coffin because basically to go to the playoffs now, they would have to win the rest of the games all season, which they're not going to do. They're not going to do it. They're not going to beat the Chiefs. They probably will lose to the Colts. Uh, they, I don't know. They might squeeze one out against the Broncos, but I could see us losing that game too. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just really sucks for us, you know, as fans, that we have to continue to put up with the shit year in and year out. Then we have fucking owners that don't listen to us and fucking general managers that think they're fucking so superior. General managers and coaches that think they're so fucking superior. When they ain't shit. On their own, they haven't done shit. But they act like, oh, we got six rings. Yeah, take those six rings and shove them up your ass. Take it individually and shove it in the order you want it, assholes. Thinking you could talk down to us like that. Who the fuck do you think you are? But anyway, <laughs> I better get off. Otherwise, I'm going to start getting mad again. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you.